Hey, welcome back. It's Darren and Sean here. Another quick update on a lot of projects is what we're working on tonight in amongst other things. And we're kind of doing the very first go at the cylinder head. Mostly, yeah. Yeah, so Sean wants to port and modify and install some tulip valves that we got from Lotta Moscow. Sergey, he's a good guy to get that sort of stuff from. And we have to clean up the old head because the one that we have is off our 1.6 Neva engine. Yeah, 350,000 kilometer heavy use, a lot of grunge and crap. Yeah, it's, it was in really bad shape. So is what Sean did first was he uh, did a little bit of a homebrew cold tanking, I guess we'll call it, over here with this. Well, Sean, what's your... It was, was your kind of warm. Yeah, it was warm-ish. Yeah, it was Mr. Your... Mr. Clean. So with, with Febreze. So that's what... Why did you put Febreze in it? Well, it's the stuff we use to clean the floor, so we already had it. Yeah. It's the Mr. Clean with Febreze. So, uh... That's our first grunge. Yeah. And then is what we've decided to do is build our own ghetto hot tank. And I mean literally ghetto, it's garbage. It's a garbage can. So in this garbage can, we have a lid. We have an awesome, oh, look at that. That's working great. We have the cylinder head, which is cleaning up. Awesome. And we used a garbage can because it's the cheapest steel vessel that we could apply heat to and hold enough water to cover the cylinder head. Then down underneath, we have a gas-powered Coleman burner. Those things are awesome. So we're going to throw a lid back on that to keep our heat in. And we're just going to wait for nature to take its course and all the grease and grime to come off. One thing to note, that if you're doing normal hot tanking, that uses a caustic soda, which is meant for cast iron and rust. It will dissolve aluminum, which a lot of heads are made of aluminum. So it'll, it'll hurt the finish. Yeah, so we've gone with a non-flammable, earth-friendly, simple green. 100% biodegradable. So it says on the bottle, and who knows where it ends up when we're done with it. Supposedly, you can even drink it. Sure, why not? It's always a party, right? That's right. So we'll check back in and see how this makes up after uh, boiling off for a little while. All right, it's later, it's now, now is later, and... We've had this thing cooking for about two hours while we screwed around with the V6 Mustang suspension. So uh, let's take a look at our soup. Oh yeah, we full of cylinder head. And that is plenty hot. That little Coleman stove has done an awesome job. This is fucking warm. Holy shit, look at that. Well, that's, that's amazing. The steam is kind of hard to tell, but that, uh, that did a really nice job. So do we want to hit this with some sort of um, rinse? Look in there. Wow, it's like new. That's really good. It's Ghetto not, hot tank is not is 100 percent in there, but it's pretty damn decent. Yeah, that's that's way better than what it was. Oh god, yeah. You know, if you were to put this in for an entire afternoon and just let it go, because it's getting look at that, it wipes off. Like, you hit that with a pressure washer, and that would all go away. It's all loose. That's that's really good. Take a rag, black spots. Bam! Simple green, all-purpose cleaner, concentrated, non-toxic, biodegradable formula, and it smells awesome. It's uh, let's see, it's way down the bottom. The MSDS has it. It has sassafras. That's sassafras. That, that's the that's the scent. But that's done a really nice job. Like it, of course, needs more time. Yeah, but it's not bad. No, this this is this is really good, especially compared to uh, what it used to look like. We'll roll in some shots of what this scummy thing looked like. We should hit it with some high-pressure water and uh, blast her off. You think? This is a success. I didn't think it would work that well. Me either. But uh, wow. So this concludes this update because it's a weeknight. We don't have a lot of time. But we've just cleaned the cylinder head, so next off we'll probably be flow benching and uh, maybe a little bit of boarding work. Yes, that is next. Yeah, so that's the next step for this video. Please stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe as always, and we're always happy to hear from you. So stay tuned for more. See ya!